Hey, this is Thomas Houston with The Verge, and we're taking a look at Sparrow for iOS. Sparrow takes some of the design ideas from Facebook, specifically the, the idea of, of using cards and moving back and forth, and takes it a little bit further. So you can swipe left uh, once, and you can dig down into whatever account you're in, swipe left again, and see all of your accounts. Um, and if you're all the way up at the top, you can just tap the top left, and it pulls you all the way back to see all of your different accounts. Um, but then if you want to jump into uh, a specific account, you can just hop in and pull up all your specific labels in one place. It, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but uh, ultimately it's a, it's a really efficient and fast way to navigate your inbox. Definitely faster than Apple's mail. The great thing here is that you've got a unified inbox, uh, so you can have 10, 15, however many accounts you want. It's got a little bit of a higher information density than mail, primarily because they, they pull out the bottom navigation bar, and in its place is just a compose button. So from within any inbox, you can just tap the bottom right, and it pulls up all your contacts. It is odd that Sparrow throws up a screen that forces you to pick your recipients before moving on to the rest of your email. So you can't start writing, and you can't start working on the subject until you actually pick who it is. So anyway, I'll email myself. It's, you know, it's pretty much like uh, any other email app. One of the nice things is you can just tap the top and switch, switch the account that you want to send from. Unfortunately, there isn't any rich text ed editing here like you'll find in the actual mail app, but ultimately it's not really a big loss. One of the really great things that Sparrow does have is you can add attachments after the fact. Uh, so whereas with mail, you have to jump into your Photos app in order to add the photo to an email, you can add it here. Even better, you can go in and add multiple photos to any email. Sparrow gives you the option to shrink those down if, if they end up being very large. One of the cool things that Sparrow has in the general reading view is you can tap the inbox title and it'll move you between different sections. Uh, so you can tap it and you can move to all of your unread. And if you're in the unified inbox, this looks at all of the unread across all of your different email accounts. Um, and then you can also tap it again and pull in all of your start emails. So Sparrow, much like on, on the desktop app, supports most IMAP services. You know, you can use Gmail, you can use Google Apps, you can use iCloud. Um, there's AOL support and MobileMe and Yahoo. Um, unfortunately, there's not POP support yet, but we've heard it's coming. You'll see that j just like on the desktop app, there's Facebook integration. And so what that does is it pulls in user photos uh, so you have a little bit better of, a, of an idea of who is actually sending you an email. It's pretty hard to escape a giant email thread in the modern office, and Sparrow's done a really good job of, of dealing with that. Um, and so one of the first things you can do is you can swipe up and down between different threads. Um, so that's pretty handy. The other great thing is you can tap the title and you can see all of the responses in the thread um, with the author in a quick preview and then jump into any of them really quickly. It's a really subtle, really interesting UI that we're, we're not seeing anywhere else and it, it really makes dealing with long email threads much easier. Uh, so one of the great things that you, that you can do is you can just swipe right on, on any message and you can label it, you can star it, you can reply from directly within here uh, or you can archive or delete. So it's not like the mail app where you're forced to either you know, trash it or archive it. Um, you're given both options. Uh, so if you want to label it, you can just tap the label button and then add it very quickly. Um, and so it's no longer a question of moving it between different folders that sort of sync up to Gmail, but it's not always perfect. Uh, so it's, it's really, really fast, and it makes moving through your inbox very easy. Unfortunately, there's no in-app browser yet, so if you do find a link within an email, it's going to take you back to mobile Safari. We have heard that it's coming in later versions, so it's, it, you know, it's not too big of a problem. Unlike on the desktop, you're not able to specify the email client that you want to use. And so it's pretty much impossible to go fully Sparrow and use it all the time for absolutely everything, because if you're, if you're emailing from any other app, it's going to default to the mail app. So the gold standard for mobile email search is still Gmail on Android. Mail lags far behind. It's, it's just not as fast, and it, it tends not to pull up the actual results, or any results that are as good. The bulk editing abilities are, are pretty nice as well, so you can just tap the edit button. Um, fortunately, there's a mark all is red, uh, you know, which, we're, which we're really not seeing anywhere else. What you can also do is select multiple emails, and you can move all of them or archive, you know, just select ones or delete all of them, or just select emails. We've been using the app for the past month or so, and we've come to see it as, as the best mail app for iOS. Unfortunately, though, when it launches very soon, it is going to be launching without push. And so if you're dependent on that, it's a bit of a deal breaker, and you're still going to have to use the primary mail app. Until Sparrow launches with push notifications, the app simply shares the promise of what a mail app on iOS could be.